The challenges are the social constructions of disability. This is uh, one of the insights that, uh, that the disability justice movement has um, pioneered for us. And again, starting with the civil rights models and moving up to um, the, the Americans with Disability Act in 1990, as well as the, the United Nations Convention on the Rights of People with Disability. So we've got these movements of recognizing persons with disability and, and uh, work to assure greater accommodations uh, and inclusive practices of people with disability. The social construction of disability, however, continues to be the, the obstacle that will not go away. And it's because of these in, ingrained attitudes that, uh, that the norm, norm mate or the normal bodied, normal minded, able bodied, able minded community continues to think in a knee jerk type reaction that a person with disability can't do that, whatever that happens to be. So, so the challenges to progress are still these centuries long presumptions about what people with disability can and cannot do, particularly when for a long time they were presumed to not be able to contribute to society at all. Those who are doing historical studies in disability are in uncovering many people with disability who have been great inventors, uh, who have contributed to uh, the, the body of great literature that we all, many of us know and love. Uh, so there's, there is, there, there's inclusion, there are opportunities to improve inclusion, and there are the challenges of the social constructions, which are the little voices in our heads that say, you can't do that, you can't do that, you can't do that. So it's not just the able-bodied who presume to know what another person can or cannot do, but it's also the person with disability who in all likelihood has grown up being told you can't do that. So we assume what we've been taught is true about ourselves until we break free and are really free to be the persons that, uh, that we are invited to be. So dismantling those assumptions uh, about who can do scholarship, who can, who can offer public lectures, who can um, write novels. There are so many um, persons with disability who have been contributing to uh, the human arts and sciences that, that we would all be embarrassed if, we've, if we had a complete list of all those persons.